Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five IT engineer interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. Can you describe the most challenging engineering project you have worked on and how you overcame the obstacles you encountered? This question has two parts. The first is to understand the scope of work you do and the challenges you face in the role of an IT engineer. The second is to learn about your problem solving methodology and how you approach challenging issues. The project you describe should align with the needs of the organization you are interviewing with. The most challenging IT engineering project I worked on involved migrating a data center to a hosted cloud environment. This required a great deal of planning to ensure that the migration occurred without any loss of data or a reduction in the organization's productivity. My team and I outlined each step of the migration in great detail and leveraged the resources of the hosted cloud organization during the planning phase. We followed the plan and had contingency plans in place when executing the migration if an unforeseen issue occurred. The migration went smoothly and was performed over a holiday weekend to avoid downtime for the business users. We provisioned backup and redundant systems so no data was lost. Migrating the data center to the cloud saved the organization almost 50% of its annual operating budget. Question number two. How would you react if a key project stakeholder asked you to eliminate a safety-related item you included as part of your engineering plan? Project stakeholders will always have input into the elements of a project. However, they may not have a complete understanding of these elements. The IT engineer must take the time to defend the critical elements they believe need to be included in an IT project to ensure its desired outcome and maintain the safety of the equipment, environment, and users. The interviewer is seeking to understand that you are willing to confront the stakeholder when the stakes are high and do it to accomplish the objective without alienating the team members. One of the challenges in my job as an IT engineer is to collaborate with project stakeholders who may not have the intimate knowledge needed to properly assess the importance of each element of a project. If a stakeholder were to confront me about an issue they didn't think belonged in a project, but was critical to the project safety, I would first seek to understand why they feel this way. Once I understand their position, I would clearly and calmly describe why the element needs to remain as part of the project to ensure the safety of the hardware, environment, or users. If for some reason they would disagree with me and continue to insist that the element be removed, I would escalate the issue to my management team providing my rationale for not changing the project parameters. Question number three. How would you handle a situation where an IT engineer on your team wanted to use a design that you knew was inefficient or inappropriate for the project? Unfortunately, confrontations with fellow workers, management, clients, or other project stakeholders are part of an IT engineer's job. What is critical is how you handle these confrontations and the steps you take to minimize and move past them. An interviewer will ask you about this to better understand your communication and negotiation skills and how you use these on the job. If one of my team members approached me and wanted to use a design that I felt was inefficient or inappropriate for our project, the first thing I would do would be to listen to their suggestion and ask them for their rationale for using the design. If I still disagreed with them, I would calmly state this and describe why I felt we should not move forward with their suggestion. I might even provide an alternative close to their idea and work with the project we were currently engaged in. This typically works in most situations where a teammate and I disagree on a design. If we could still not reach an agreement, I would suggest that we take our conversation to the project leader or another member of the management team and ask them to arbitrate. Question number four, how do you manage your and your team's time during an engineering project with tight deadlines? Time management is a critical skill in every profession, but especially in the IT industry. Accomplishing projects on time is critical to the organization. Missed deadlines will cost the company money and result in downtime for the users. 
adding additional costs. In addition to confirming that you have time management skills and consider this important, you should have specific methodologies you use and can provide to the interviewer to demonstrate your ability to manage time and deliver projects on time and under budget. The ability to consistently deliver projects on time and under budget is something that I'm known for. I accomplish this first by understanding the task and setting reasonable expectations for completion of it. Before commencing with a project, I break it down into individual tasks which need to be accomplished in a specific order and on a specific schedule. I then take responsibility for accomplishing this task or delegating it to somebody with the needed skill set. Finally, I regularly assess the team's progress against the schedule and make adjustments to complete the project on time. Tools I use to manage this old process include PERT charts and spreadsheets. Question number five. What steps do you take to check your work and ensure that you don't make any mistakes? This question could stand alone or maybe a follow-up question to something you've already been asked about during the interview. Since the work done by an IT engineer is very exacting and precise, double-checking your work to avoid mistakes is a critical practice you need to incorporate into your job. Having a specific methodology for accomplishing this and describing it to the interviewer is critical to demonstrate your skills in this area. When working on a project or a specific IT task, I am careful to avoid making a mistake. However, I sometimes am distracted and may miss something. Therefore, before I complete a task and move on to something new, I double check my work. Depending on the task I need to accomplish, there are several tools I use to do this. Spelling and grammar checkers such as Grammarly help review written documents, instructions, or manuals. When programming, several tools are available to review the code and point out any errors that may have occurred. There are similar tools for math calculations. Finally, depending on how critical the work is, I may have one of my peers review it before putting it into production or submitting it to management. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.